Hello everybody, this is ZeviTR here, and today we're fixing Magisite. So, in the description I will explain the problems that Ma the newer Magisite has, but for now, let's get into this. So, as you can see, my Steam has console right here. Um, yours probably will not, so what you're going to need to do is you either will have Steam on your desktop, or you're gonna have to look up Steam on your computer and open the file location. It will open up this. What you're gonna wanna do is right click it and then create a shortcut. Drag this shortcut to the desktop and there you go. Now you have this. All you have to do is right click it again, go to properties and then if you click on this space dash which is normally next to the zero and then you put console and apply now when you open this steam right here make sure you open this one it'll say console sometimes you have the problem that you'll need to run as an administrator but mine works fine that's up to you if it works or not. Now what you want to do is go into console and there's a code that I will put in the description which is download uh, yeah all that stuff. <laughs> all you're gonna need to do is take that from the description paste it into here enter and it will download the well, this is technically how you get the old Magisite, the 1.5 version, which was before all the multiplayer glitches. And all you have to do is wait for that to finish. Alright, and we're back. Okay, so after a little while, it will say Depot download complete. And all you'll need to do, I'm sorry, going a little fast. Um, It'll keep saying stuff right here, but it's done. All you have to do is copy this right here. I'm not sure if it's the same for everyone. Oh, I definitely didn't do that right. Oops. There we go. Oh, close enough. All right. What you need to do is open File Manager and then paste it into here. Oh, that. Oh, hold up. <laughs> you have to get rid of the a boss or, or uh, whatever <laughs> and it'll open up this this is the old magisite the 1.5 build so this is you'll be able to play with your friends and you won't have any of the glitches where the glitch where your friends when someone gets knocked down the game ends so you can keep playing and oh <laughs> you'll be able to keep playing of course you know you can't change these anymore you gotta do it this way and you can change your people it still keeps all your data and that's about it but if you wanna if you don't wanna have to open it to this all the time you can do the create shortcut move this shortcut to the desktop I'll replace the file because I already did this and then you can open it from right here and now you have desktop you move this anywhere you need it you can move, keep the steam just in case you need console for something else and that's it I'll have everything in the description I hope this helped y'all I uh, hope you get to play with your friends peace out